Hey, NBA 2K My League fans, I am back with another NBA 2K My League video. In this video, we're going to talk about two way contracts, how they work, how you can sign players to two way contracts, and send players up and down to the G League. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Coach 2K. If you want to learn how to play My League, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get notified whenever I upload anything new so you don't miss a single NBA 2K video that I put out. While you're here, don't forget to watch my NBA 2K My League expansion series. I'll put a link in the corner of the video to the beginning of that series and also a link down in the description. All right, with that, let's get started and talk about how two-way contracts work in My League. Okay, so what two-way contracts are are a way for an NBA team to expand their roster by two additional roster spots above the maximum 15 that an NBA team can have. So an NBA team must have 14 players under an NBA contract and it can have a maximum of 15. Above and beyond that, uh, you know, if they want to expand the roster a little bit, they can do so with this two-way contract. So here we're looking at the Pacers. You can see they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 guys on the roster. So these first 15 guys are uh, signed to regular NBA contracts, but these two guys are on two-way contracts. Now, you can tell they're on a two-way contract with the number two next to their name there, and also by looking just below the overall, it says two-way in parentheses there next to their contract. Now, one unique feature of the two-way contract is that it doesn't count against your cap. So you can see here, that this long guy with the Pacers and Bowen the second each have a contract amount for their two-way contract. But if you added all these numbers up, you'll notice that it doesn't count against the cap. The second unique feature to a two-way contract is that a player can only play up to 45 days in the NBA on a two-way contract. You'll notice here just below the overall uh, there's the contract information and just to the left of that it says NBA days left 45 and so what that means is is that once this player plays 45 days in the NBA then the team has to offer them a, a, a real NBA contract or they just have to send them back to the G League. When you begin the NBA season with your team what you have to do is you have to evaluate these two-way contracts and decide what you want to do with them. So in the case of the Pacers here, they have Long as point guard. And in the depth chart, they got Brogdon, McConnell, and Holiday at point guard. So they're three deep at point guard. If I know Brogdon, McConnell, and Holiday are all healthy, and I'm not going to be using Long at all, I don't want that 45-day clock ticking. Because if one of these guys gets hurt, I might need to use that later on. So in the case of Long, I would probably go ahead and stick him in the G League to reserve those 45 days in case I needed him if something happened to one of the three ahead of him. At shooting guard, I also have three deep in the depth chart, and Boeing is fourth at shooting guard under a two-way contract. But the situation might be a little different here because Oladipo's hurt, and he won't be playing. And so if I want to have three deep in the depth chart at shooting guard while Oladipo is hurt, I might not mind if that 45-day clock is ticking if I know Oladipo is going to come back within 45 days. That way, uh, I have enough depth at shooting guard uh, while Oladipo is hurt. And then once Oladipo comes back, then I can send Bowen back to the G League and then that clock stops ticking. Now, to so send a guy to the G League, what you do is you just select the player and it gives you an option here to assign to the Fort Wayne Mad Ants in the case of the Pacers, that's their G League team. So if I wanted to, I could send him to the G League and you can see that now next to his two is a little NBA icon with a little down symbol. And that means that he's in the G League. But if I want to call him back up, I just select him again and I could call him back up from the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. And so that's how you tell if a player is in the G League or not. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take Long and we're going to go ahead and assign him to the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. So you can see he's in the G League. But Bowen, we're going to leave him on the active roster and then we're going to advance the season 45 days in and just see what happens. 
Okay, so now I've advanced it 45 days into the season. And if we look at Long here, he's been in the G League that entire time. So you can see here, he still has 45 days left that he can play on the active roster in the NBA because we haven't used any of those days. However, with Bo in the second, you can see he has zero days left uh, to remain on the active roster. So that means we got to make a decision, either send him to the G League or sign him to an actual NBA contract. We can't continue to use him and keep him on a two-way deal. So that's why if you're moving through your seasons, you'll get this message that says, hey, this player cannot remain in the NBA under his two-way contract. And so you've got to you've got to make a decision here. Now, in the case of the Pacers, they already have the max number of players under under an NBA contract, which is 15. So the only option that we have here is that we have to return him to the G League. But if we didn't have 15 guys under contract, it would give us the option to sign that player for the remainder of the season. So if you wanted to have that option for that particular player and you had a max of 15 players on your roster, what you're going to have to do is release one of those guys or trade or do something to make room for this particular player. But if you don't do that, you got to send them back to the G League. All right, so now that you know how these two-way contracts work, let's talk about how you sign a guy to a two-way contract. So in the case of the Sixers here, uh, looking at their roster, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 guys on the roster. And you can see a number two next to this uh, Shayok guy. So that means he's on a two-way contract. Now in the case of Norval Pell here, he does have that little NBA logo or whatever it is with a little down symbol. That means he's in the G League. But if you look at his contract, he's not on a two-way contract because he doesn't have the two there. So in the case of the Sixers, we've got room, if we wanted to, to sign a guy to a two-way contract. To do that, we would just go to the free agent market and find a guy that fits what we're looking for and sign him to a two-way contract. So in the case of Trey Burke here, who's on the screen, well, he's expecting too much money. And so this guy is not going to sign a two-way contract, most likely. The guys we're going to want to focus on are guys that are expecting like the league minimum. And so let's say Richard Solomon is a guy that we wanted to sign to a two-way contract. We would just select him, negotiate contract, and it says the roster's full. You can only offer a two-way contract to this player. Do you wish to continue? So, of course, we select yes, and it pops up the two-way contract. Now, if it doesn't give you that warning that you can only sign the guy to a two-way contract, then if you want to offer a two-way contract, what you got to do is go to the years here, and choose two-way. So sometimes if you only have the option to sign a two-way contract, it's gonna go ahead and default to that. But if you're in a situation where you can sign to either kind of contract, it might pop up that way. So here's how you do that. You just change the years to two-way. Keep in mind that there are times when you can't sign a two-way contract with a player. And so if you get a message that pops up like this, that says, hey, you got too many players on your roster, you can't sign a two-way contract with this player, the reason uh, is probably one of two things. The first is, is that it's after January 15th because you can only offer two-way contracts through January 15th. And after that date passes, then you can't offer two-way contracts anymore. At that point, you can only offer 10-day contracts. So you can't offer the two-way contracts anymore. Now, the second time that you can't offer a two-way contract to a player is if they've been in the league too long. So you can only offer... Uh, two-way contracts to players that have uh, four NBA seasons or less. Here, Trey Burke, even if he was somebody who wanted a two-way contract because he has six years in the league, he's not somebody that would qualify for a two-way contract. Okay, so let's talk about some of the reasons why you might use two-way contracts in your My League files. So the first is maybe just to develop players. So in the case of Bull Bull here, the Nuggets signed this guy to a two-way contract. And I believe they sent him to the G League in real life too. And it could be that he's not likely to see playing time but behind the Joker, Plumley, and Vonley. And so this way they can develop him and not have his salary count against the cap, but still retain the rights to him later to sign him to an active NBA contract to their team. 
while that player is on your roster as a two-way player, you can still use the player training features in your My League files. I'll put a link to the player training uh, options in uh, the corner of the video so you can have a look at that video. But while he's on your roster, even as a two-way player, you can still set up a training regimen for that player to try and develop his skills even though he's not on your active roster. Another reason you might want to sign a guy to a two-way contract is just as an insurance policy in case of injury. So like I was talking about Bowen here with the Pacers and Oladipo, kind of using him while Oladipo is recovering. And so you could sign guys to two-way contracts in, uh, in order to kind of increase your depth in certain positions if you're weak in, or you don't have enough players at that position or for some reason you know somebody might uh, be injury prone or, or currently injured. And another reason might be that you just see a guy that has some potential and you want to see what he develops into. And so you just want to sign him to a two-way contract just to have him develop in the G League and see what kind of uh, player he turns out to be. And uh, if he does grow as a player, then you've already got the rights to him. And I guess another good reason why you might want to do that is just because you can. So you have the two spots available. They don't count against the cap. Try and find a couple good players that look good to you, that might have good potential, and get them into your system and not have to worry about them having a financial impact on your team. Okay, so that's the basics of how two-way contracts work in my league. Let me know in the comments how you use two-way contracts, or if I left anything out, you got any tips or suggestions that I didn't go over. And uh, while you're here, don't forget to check out my NBA 2K My League expansion series. There'll be a link to that here at the end of the video. In the meantime, I'm Coach 2K. I'll see you on the court in the next video. Thanks for watching.